What's up, guys? Welcome to Three the Podcast. I am Billy. I am Eric. And I am your favorite, Kobe. (laughs) (laughs) And we are excited to have you guys back. We are loving doing this. We hope you enjoy this. Um, You know, again, if you ever have topics that you want us to talk about, let us know. If you have cool, crazy questions, uh, we love talking about it. So... I'm going to start off right away with some stories, okay? Let's I'll it. start with my story, if that's okay. Get into it. So, um, so I'm just going to tell you that, you know, obviously I started my life off as an aspiring actor. That was what I wanted to do, you mm-hmm. know? And, um, and it's just crazy in life because when you're an actor, you, you know, you have certain skills that are your, your definite skill set, but then they also ask you, do you play basketball? Do you do this? And, you know, and I pretty much said yes to everything because I'm like, I'm, I want every opportunity I can get. And so, um, so there was a job that there was a, there was a time when I was going out and I was auditioning for things just because I was like, I'm going to audition for everything. Even if it calls for a white guy or an Asian guy, I'm going to go in and I'm going to see if I can break the barrier and I can get this job. And so I, I would do it. Um, I auditioned for The Sound of Music, and I got laughed at because I had no clue that it was about Nazis. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when I went in, I went in for the role of Rolf, and I went in. Rolf? Yes. The Nazis. I, I never seen it before. Not I even never, one of the kids. You went in for Rolf. I never seen the movie really? before. Oh, so when I went God. in. Did they give you an arm strap? No, they were, no. When I auditioned, oh when I walked in, they were like, what role are you here for? And I said, Rolf. And they busted into laughter and I was like, like I'm we just... so offended. I'm like, why can't I just for Rolf? And they let me sing and let me go through the whole thing and they got the biggest kick out of it. So when I got home and I watched the movie, I was like, oh, I can't be honest with that. <laughs> so the reason why I'm saying that is I got an audition. I don't know if you guys remember the movie Cliffhanger. So this movie called Cliffhanger yeah, and it was with Sylvester Stallone yeah. and it was in the mountains and skiing and there was an audition. I don't know if you've seen the movie, but in the movie there was two young guys that were like snowboarders and the thing and they're kind of like really like kind of like the cool skateboard attitude and they were looking for a Caucasian white guys and I saw the breakdown saying this is what they want and I'm like, I want this gig. And so I went to my agent and I'm like, send me and they were like, uh, they only, they're asking for white guys. I'm like, trust me, send me. 50, what is it? 52? Uh, 51? 52% white? Oh, yeah. I'm 54% 54, white. 54, 54. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. So, so I had them send me in, and my agent called me back and said, you know it says you have to be an expert skier, right? And so I was like, yes. I'm like, I can do it. <laughs> Let's go. So, in my head, I'm just like, just if I get close, I'll learn how to do it, because I learn things fast. And so, you know, I went in, and I went in an audition, and they loved the fact that I was black. They were like, this actually may work. We don't have anybody that this is kind of cool. And I was the only black guy who went in. So I got a call back. I got another call back. I got another, like was getting close to getting this gig. And then in my head, I was like, Oh my God, at some point they're going to do a screen test and want me to show them that I can ski. So I was like, let me just go take a ski lesson. I'm really good. I was cocky. So I thought like I can learn this. So I went up to big bear with my sister and she'll <laughs> confirm this story by the way. And I got to big bear and I'm Goodness. thinking, okay, I'm going to ski. But skiing is not like learning to ride a bike or certain things where you can learn it quickly. Yeah. Skiing takes more than a day. So I was on the bunny slopes all day taking lessons, and they give you the lessons, and I could not pick it up. Like, I could not get it's, it. It's hard. So, have you skied before? I took one lesson, and it wasn't for me. Just it's the coordination. Hard. That's why I snowboard. Right. And it hurts your shins, too. So I was trying it, and my sister and them were like, are you going to ever come off the bunny slope? And I'm like, well, motherfucker, I want to. I just can't do it. So I kept trying, and I just couldn't do it. But the sun was starting to go down, and I was like, okay, i got to at least try this one. There's like one big hill at Big Bear that I'm like, let me just go down that one big hill. And so I'm like, at least I'll do that. And my sister's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, because I learned how to do like the snow plow stop thing. Do you know what the like what colored diamond it was? Was it black diamond? Once I got on the chair, I realized it was a black diamond. Oh no, my okay. God. Expert level <laughs> advanced. So I didn't know what black diamond meant. I didn't know. I'd never skied before. And so my sister kept, I, everybody kept going, are you sure? Are you and I'm sure? like, yeah. So I get on the chair. And once you know, once you're up on the chair, yeah. you're there. Yeah. So I get up, and what's scary was from the bottom, you could only see this one hill, but when I got in the chair and the chair passed the hill, I saw the mountain. And so I was like, fuck. So it takes me all the way to the top of this mountain, lets me off. I get off, and I'm like, okay, let me start by doing, the, you do the zigzag back and forth. That's like the slow way to right. ski. So I did that, and then like 40 minutes goes by, and I'm in the same spot because I was literally going up, 
the mountain. I was, <laughs> oh. I was afraid. So I'm like, this is not working. The sun's starting to go down. And my sister had already at the very top. She's like, do you want me to wait and go with you? And I'm like, no, I got this. I'm going to try to learn how to do this. And that was dumb because then I was left there by myself. So I start doing this thing. Hours go by or 40 minutes, almost an hour goes by. And I'm not getting anywhere. And so I'm like, the sun's going to go down. I'm going to be here by myself. And I don't want a bear to eat me. I'm like, I got to go down the mountain. I'm going to go down. (laughs) So I decide I'm just going to go down in the stop position thinking it'll just slowly inch me down the hill. And I start and your legs can't handle that. Your legs can't just go down the hill. You're so, like a seated squat the whole time, right? So I did this, and my legs were like, no. And they went like this. <laughs> That's so then I happens. was doing downhill, downhill, like fast, like skiing. I was going so fast <laughs> that people who were going like this were like, hey, motherfucker, watch out. Like, Slow what are you down. doing? And I'm going down the hill. <laughs> and I'm realizing at the end of this hill, I'm going to go off the thing, hit the fence, go into the street. I'm going to be dead. So I think, what am I going to do? So I just literally did this like backwards dive on my back and fell and rolled, log rolled down the mountain. <laughs> Jesus. I will back that up with uh, the first time I ever went snowboarding. Uh-huh. Pretty similar. So like my boys had, that I went with, uh, they had been snowboarding multiple times. And this was my first time. And I skated, but it's not, it's similar, not but it's not the same. Yeah. I get on the snowboard and they're like, you're good, you know, you've been, we've been skating, X, Y, Z, you're fine. I get on the mountain and I start going down. I never, never, <laughs> never knew how fast you go down that fucking mountain, bro. Yep. I was stroking down that mountain. Damn. And just like Blake's, I didn't know how to stop, but I was good. So I was bobbing and weaving through people because I could control the board, but yeah. didn't know how to stop. But your heart is pounding yes. too. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, 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 The whole way down the mountain, the same, same exact thing. I did the same shit that you did, bro. You're I got to a point where I just turned it, fell back on my back. And so, my tailbone was so bruised yes. from falling so many yes, times. Yes, your tailbone hurts for yes. a while. You know what I mean? Same there's, exact thing. There's nothing you can do. In my head, I'm yeah. like, if I don't... If I don't stop myself, yes, and you're flying, <laughs> well, I never like, knew you went that yeah. fast, bro. Yeah, you go really fast. You know that's also how hard was it to get off the ski lift? That was hard too. So hard because it yeah. keeps moving. Yeah, yeah. it it's, doesn't. It's, stop. It's, I feel like you get bullied. Like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You get bullied. Yeah, yeah it's trippy. But it was also scary because the sun was going down, and I felt like what what you're happens like, if it's dark and I'm yes, on sure. This Remember that movie Frozen? Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. not Disney Frozen. The other Frozen. No Elsa. Yep. Yeah. The real ones know. That's a real one, though. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> so mine is more a topic question. So what movie what movie should everyone watch right now that they have missed? And this could be any year, all time. That's a good question. Bro. I'll go first because mine's kind of very, very niche and specific. So Billy actually recommended this one to me. The movie's called Wind River. It's a thrilling mystery crime film starring Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen, and John Bernthal. It's about a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service tracker and an FBI agent who try and solve a murder on the Wind River Indian Reservation in Wyoming. The director Taylor Sheridan, the director Taylor Sheridan, has said he wrote the film to raise awareness of the issue of the number of high Indigenous women who are raped and murdered. Mm-hmm. Both on and off reservations. Have you heard of this movie, Colby? Mm, no, I saw that. Billy saw it maybe three times. The second What's time the name he told of me. Again? Wind River? Wind River. Yeah. I'm going to watch it today. Fantastic. What's it on? It's on Prime? Amazon? Uh, I'm sure you can probably, Netflix. It's probably get on Prime. I got HBO. I got all of them. Yeah, so Wind, Wind River, River. Uh, from 2017. So definitely. Glad you watched it. Definitely one of my favorite films of the last 10 years. I tell everyone about it. Yeah, it released August 4th, 2017. It cost 11 million bucks to make and they oh, made Oh, so it's recent, 2017. 27 Yeah, pretty recent. Uh 11 million to make and it made 45 million at the box office. So it made a lot of money but it, not enough people know about it. Yeah, it was random. I watched it any, random. Uh, yeah. Any like well-known named people in it? Or? Yeah, uh for sure uh Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner's in it. Okay. Uh, Mary Kane Ashley Olsen, their older ah. sister is in it. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olsen. I didn't even know they had an older sister. Send in love to Jeremy Renner. You know he's in the hospital. For what? Uh, he was uh, he was on a snow plow, um, and then I, it ran over him. He fell off. Of some, I something did, happened I did, to him. I did see he's that. He's been headline. in intensive care, yeah. So he's good. He's good. I think he's. they said he's now finally stable. Yeah. Wow. That was like... Freak accidents are yep. so scary, bro. It's crazy. You never know. But he I was, was in that the, movie, though. He was incredible. Jeremy was Renner the killed movie that. Itself, itself is just a great movie. I was with a, a, a girl back home in Richmond, VA, and we went to the bar that she used to work at to get dinner. 
mm-hmm. and when the servers was there and he came over and she was like hey you show him your scar and i was like what and this man lifted his shirt up and he had this fucking scar that went from here like all the way down his torso mm. bro and he was they were on the boat and he got pushed off the boat and went underneath the motor Oh, oh my God! Oh. That shit sliced. So like the oh God. yeah, bro. I was like, what? Goodness, yeah, that's crazy. It was crazy looking. That shit went like from here to here, like a movie. Yeah. Oh my, it's crazy because those things like if you survive them, underwater, you have water though. Yeah, that would freak me out. Like yeah, no. I would have nightmares. Would definitely freak me out. I'd have nightmares every night. But you have a story to tell after that. But that's yeah, like that's true. If you live, and he lived, he lived so. And he was fully functional. Was his was was his uh, when he told you the story? Did he tell you the story or no? Yeah, yeah. Or was and he, he's just like, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, they were all on there drinking, just having a good time. Mm-hmm. Went overboard and got caught into the fucking motor. Like mm. it wasn't obviously it wasn't intentional or anything. Damn, that's crazy. Gotta be scared. Damn. That's crazy. But Wind River, guys, check it out. If you've seen that movie, put it in the comments. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down in that comment section because that movie is lit. That's one of probably my favorite. movies. I'm gonna watch that tonight. Cause the end, the last five minutes, they sh- I'm not, I I do not yeah, want to give it away. Me, I wish I could me. see it. I wish I could see that again for the first time. Yeah, don't tell me we'll watch it. But the last five minutes is fantastic. This is mind blowing. I thought you're getting ready to spoil it. I can't, I can't say it. I can't say it. Don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> I've seen so many movies. I know. Me too. Like, I have so many favorites, but I'm gonna say one of my favorites. I think everybody needs to experience is the color purple. I, I love the color purple. That's a good one. I hadn't seen color purple. Until I'm gonna you say me. Uh, seven pounds with Will Smith. Never seen seven. I've never seen seven. I've never pounds. seen I'm gonna it say, Yeah, y'all should watch that one because I'm gonna watch Wind River tonight. Y'all should watch seven, seven pounds, pounds? Yeah. and then we'll talk about it on the next yeah. one. Okay, seven pounds. I I it's am pretty one. sure it's timeless. I know the synopsis because I, I the the seven pounds is. Don't give it away. Okay, don't, don't I, tell I, me. I don't remember. Give it away. I remember reading this yeah, on, yeah. on Wikipedia. Great but yes, movie. all right. So. Uh, before my younger brother was born, so I was the youngest child at the time. It was me and my older sister, and she used to always, uh, you know, do things like that your parents wouldn't agree on, and then blame it on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She was a tattle. Yeah, so a I, was the, I was the younger kid, and I would always get in trouble. And I'm very nice, so if someone was like, "Call me. Why the fuck did you do that?" I'd be like, "Whatever." It's everything, you know. Uh-huh. So I just took it. Anyway, long story short, I'm at the table. My mom's cooking dinner. She's making food. My sister's in a room. I'm sick. I've been sick for a couple weeks, mm-hmm. right? Mom's making dinner, and she's like, you know what, Kobe? Yeah, you can have this to eat, some soup, you know, because you're not going to eat dinner with us because you're sick. I'm at the table. I'm eating, and uh, I dropped my silverware under the table, right? And I was feeling bad, and my mom was cooking, so she was busy, and she was like, Chelsea, you yelled at my sister to come in and get the silverware. So she comes in, gets down under the table, kitchen table, and grabs a fork, Again, I wasn't feeling well, so mm-hmm. as my sister is underneath of the table, I had to throw up. <laughs> Long story short, I vomited out? all over my sister's head, all in her hair. Purpose, everywhere. That was bro. on purpose. I don't. I guess it was. Was but it or no? Like, I don't I think it. Was it I don't know. It, a long time ago, I, it was a long time ago. You seem very confused She's about this. Just, is she watching this? Uh, is, is, she'll tell you. So today. your sister tattling on you for. 10 years. I guess it came You peaked on her once and now you guys are even. Yeah, it seems a little bit like you like, there's a little bit of a We were always there. back and forth and, and to give you like a uh, understanding of how my mom was, there was one time we were arguing, <laughs> right? Me and my sister were arguing and uh, we used to live not on a main street but like you could be on our front porch and see a street where cars would regularly come mm-hmm. down and kind of like right here um, and she, whenever we get in trouble, she put us on the front porch and made us hug each other for like 45 minutes. Oh, so like when you guys are in trouble, you shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and a they great would get a, punishment. They would get a kick out of it. They would love it. Hug it out. We're just saying the whole time, right? Like, like, man, like whatever. Like, Hugging? Talking don't, in each other's ears. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Do Hug it out. Up, do you end, okay, so when that, as a punishment, did it work by the end that you guys were nice to each other or yeah. were you mad the whole time? I mean, and never back then at that age, you know, when you get that kind of, I'm against everybody type of thing in your mindset. You kind of fight it for the longest, but 30, 45 minutes, mm-hmm. you break down. You do. And it's just like, I don't even know why we're arguing type of thing. Okay. It definitely made our relationship closer, I would say. Hug it out yeah. while you're mad? In front of the traffic. Just the bad in front thing. of everybody. Like on the porch. By. Yeah, so just stand there. Like, <laughs> Oh, God. That's a great punishment, actually. That's, that's Another, pretty good. One of our I've punishments, never heard of that though, one. is we had a, um, remember the garden I was telling you about in mm-hmm. our backyard? There was a broken down truck and... Since it was there, it was on blocks and grass wouldn't grow around it. So it would be like a dirt area mm-hmm. with rocks. 
So if we got in trouble, they would give us a um, like a sandcastle bucket for the beach and a little garden shovel until you go outside, fill that bucket up with rocks, no dirt, just rocks only from around that patch. And when you're done, bring it to us. They would bring it to you after like an hour and a half that you've been out there digging rocks and walk over there and dump them right back out. There's a movie. There's a movie. And I was like, man, fuck everybody in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the movie Holes is kind of yes. like you. I'm like, man, wow. Oh, holes, 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 Shia LaBeouf. Up. That shit did some shit to me, though. Watching that as a kid, I'm like, man. Of course. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm too tired to dig, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. That's too damn <laughs> <laughs> on, on that topic, before we go to our questions, Eric, do you have any, what was your, would you say, worst punishment as a kid? Um, oh my gosh, my parents took away my Game Boy. I had Pokemon Yellow, the one with the Pikachu on it. They would take that away. Uh, what else? I remember being grounded. Uh, gosh. Any, any kind of crazy one that they did to you? Not. I'm sh- I'm showing off right now. I was not a bad kid. I was probably only grounded two or three times. We didn't get grounded, but uh, so my my you brother's, got whooped though, right? Yeah. So my brother's dad was very country and redneck and had uh, like deer on the walls and shit that he had killed and on top of the one right beside the kitchen door there was uh it was a deer with antlers and he had a uh piece of flooring that we had bought and like bamboo flooring and he wrapped it in camouflage duct tape and wrote on it in a sharpie fanny getter and leave it right, uh, on, right on top of the antlers so anytime you did anything oh man that's such a male thing to do yeah, yeah. i mean oh uh, yeah so so yeah i got i got wind spoon uh yeah, tw- tw- twice I, I i can't there weren't many times where I would turn up like that. I just, looking, actually, I just didn't get caught. And I was people, a bad kid, just didn't get caught. So. Seeing people that are like, oh, parents shouldn't be able to whoop their kids. Looking back, would you change it? Because I feel like it, it, kinda, depend, it, it, it depends. So, so it, it's, it's, ta- it's taken way too far all the time. Like, yeah, yeah, like, sure, like, sure. like, oh, you got to see on your report card. Let's yeah. get the wind spoon. No, yeah, so you can't think, do that shit. So I think there's a level because I was whooped. And I was whooped like belt, picked up. Thrown across anything, the room. I was whooped. To Back to your parents again. But and, uh, uh, yes, no, no, no. And I had to get like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom podcast. and dad. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Sorry, but no. Um, but no. But I also you made me peel bark from a, a branch and whip me with that branch. That's wild. That's that fucking one crazy. Was wild. You know what I mean? Like, so I could say there are. I don't really. I know that it gave me character. Yeah. But it also made me the whole time growing up. I was like, I'm never gonna be like that. Yeah. I did have to spank my child a couple of times, and I hated it after. Of and I did feel like, what did it accomplish other than make him afraid of me? You know what I mean? Like it didn't really accomplish much. And so I do yeah. feel like it's kind of hard because I'm not like, you know, you shouldn't do because you never know what, you know. I don't know. It's really it's really a tough situation because like I, I was spanked. There's it's a fine line. there's Why? comments on TikTok. I see people go in and they're they cannot believe people hit their own kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, we used to get whipped. We would uh, you know, brush our teeth with soap. Hot. Uh, yeah. Hot sauce. I got Tabasco. Yeah. 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 My dad made me. Oh my god! I gotta tell you guys, crashing on my dad again. Sorry, dad. Um, but they're gonna I, cancel us. There was one time. One time I <laughs> got. Gonna, wait, senior's gonna start a petition. My, <laughs> mom, my mom got mad at me one time, and and I don't know what it was. She's giving me a hard time about something, and I thought I was like I'm smarter than her. And I right. took my towel, and I was walking to the pool, and I took my t- towel and put it on my face and stuck out my tongue, but in the towel it was like, but did it in the towel so she can't see it. Okay? Oh, she saw it. Little you know, <laughs> kids don't realize. Yeah. Oh, kids think they're smart. I thought I could just pick this thing up and go. Mm. And by the time the towel came down, she gave me like a flying <laughs> slap the mess out of me, right? But all I can say is, after that slap, my dad, she sent me in the house and she's like, go to your father right now, whatever. That was the worst. And he made me go in the bathroom and the used soap, the one that somebody had been using on their hands, you know how it's all melted mm-hmm. hand, hand soap. Mm-hmm. He made me chew that bar of soap mm-hmm. and swallow it. And swallow it. Yes, it was. I can't tell you that. I think that's probably worse than all of the whoopings. Very similar. Like, I, I, my mom did the same thing and I was crying and bubbles would come out yep. when I was crying. Bubbles come out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had my mouth washed out with soap. Yeah. I had Tabasco. Wooden spoon, chanclas. Tabasco? Yeah, if you say, if you talk, uh, if you talk back, say something rude. Because as a kid, it's hot. So yeah. it's like, mm-hmm. fuck. Okay. Or you know, you say, "Oh, that pissed me off," and you're, you know, a six year old kid. You shouldn't really be saying that. Yeah. So every profanity word, yeah, you get a little. Tabasco. I a second, what you were saying. There was one time I got in trouble at school. Um, it was third grade, and this kid gave me. Um, this is kind of hard to believe, but he gave me an old school Civil War bullet, right? So it was like a almost like a. Um, That's actually kind of cool. Museum type thing. Yeah. Oh, like a right? musket? Yeah. 
Musket, so I, I, a little, I, I, a metal yeah, ball, a bullet. And I took it from him and I had it and ended up getting suspended for having it. Sure, mm-hmm. you brought a bullet. Yeah, live, yeah. live ammunition. But I mean, who has a fucking a musket? musket? <laughs> I'm not in the class. Like, yeah, yeah. y'all about to get it. Like, y'all wait till I go. Oh, this goodness. Type of thing. But so I got a referral and you got to take those home, tell your parents what happened. They sign off on it and mm-hmm. you take it back to the principal. Uh, right. So I went home, right. found a stack of mail, and then took a pencil, a number two pencil. And wrote my mom's name mm-hmm. in, in in font in print, not even in cursive, in pencil, and took it back to the principal and gave it to her. We like printed her name out. I thought I was smooth. Did she boy? believe it? She opened that bitch up. And we were best friends by the time I got, I got out of that school. Uh-huh. The principal, and she looked right at me, picked up that phone, called my mom. <laughs> oh my god! I was in there on a regular, bro. I tell you, the principal and my mom were best friends. It was rough. <laughs> it makes Goodness. me laugh though. Kids think you think you're so smart. They think they're so smart when they do things, and you're like, "Are you serious?" You know what I mean? Like, you really oh, think you man. can get away with right? You printed in, her name in pencil. <laughs> oh god. Okay. What? So let's get to our crazy questions. All right. So crazy questions. Here we go. Who wants to go first? Eric, you go first. Okay, I will go first. What's something you've always wanted to talk about, but no one ever asks? I would probably go with money, because money's so weird, right? It's it is. it's it's a very personal It's snow. It's 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 very You keep saying that, but I don't see one you, snow. Drop. I can see little like white droplets coming by. Oh, I see one. Every now and then. Oh, I, there it is. I see one. Yeah, continue, continue. Um I would say money, you know, because it's so personal and private. You don't you, you would know your friend's favorite color, what clothes they wear what they drive but you don't know their financial situation most of the time like the exact number so it's always so it's a private topic you know your tax person might know because you tell them you show them the accounts and you know yeah but so let me ask you a question so what i mean you want to walk up to somebody like how much you got in your bank account? No, but (laughs) but but never asks like um I, i guess i should rephrase more more budgeting Oh, like questions on how, like, talk to me, tell me how to budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah like people yeah. who know how to budget, because I, I feel like so many people might know really good advice, but no one ever asks, because money is, is, oh, you can't ask about that. And yeah. you also don't want to be shamed. People are afraid to say, uh, I don't know how to handle my finances. So I'll tell you straight me? up, I suck at saving money, bro. Yeah. That's why I got that book from you. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about ADHD I, I'm, spending. I'm, I'm really good at grinding and making money, but suck at managing it. Mm-hmm. Same, and I same think a lot here. of it comes from like growing up having nothing. Whenever yeah. I have money now, yeah. I'm just like, I want yeah, this I'm, one I'll say the same because what happens is, is life is hard, and when you become an adult, yeah, you're like, you learn. Sometimes you just want to be able to live, and so you get money, and you're like, oh, yes. I could put this away, or I could just have a nice have moment, fun, or a nice right? thing. Yeah. And so it's hard. I get it. It's you hard. Treat Take yourself. Yeah. Yeah, treat yeah, yeah. yourself. Yeah, but I, I do because it, it is sensitive. Even I know I could ask my parents anything about money, but it is still kind of weird yeah. asking, "Hey, should I do? Should I make this move here, or should mm-hmm. I invest it here, or you think I should buy this couch?" It yeah, it, there yeah. is some weirdness. Yeah, I could ask them; they would tell I could, me. I couldn't even do that growing yeah, they up. They would tell you, but it is an awkward thing to ask. I yeah, understand. yeah. I would say also um, love. I think uh, like uh, relationships and how to be in relationships. I think people are afraid to communicate like, because, you know, no relationship is perfect. It takes time. It's hard to build a relationship. So I feel like um, had I been able to ask questions, I think earlier in my life, I probably would still be in a relationship or or a different relationship. Um, And I think that is a thing that people should be more open about. I think uh, for me, that was a good one, by Mm -hmm. the way. Uh, I think for me, it would be mental health. Mm. A lot of people don't really talk about that. And yeah. and it's really easy to see people, again, on social media or mm-hmm. wherever that look like they're perfectly fine. Yep. And they're really struggling with stuff. So I think, yeah, mental health would probably be one of mine. I did, yeah, I didn't know it was such a big deal. You think, oh, it's probably just me thinking anxiety or stress. Yeah. But really, it's pretty much every, it's everyone. everyone. Yeah. It's everyone. It's yeah. like our friend, um, this is current topic, our friend Twitch died. Uh, he committed suicide and he was known as being one of the happiest people and like I mean you can't you can't ever judge it and the thing is a lot of people when they hear suicide because we in two weeks had two people we know died right Eric the trainer yep and then twitch that both committed suicide both probably some of the happiest people we've ever met and I think um, that is the big lesson is that you don't know what somebody's going through and then also people there's a stigma to suicide that people who commit suicide are selfish 
And, um, and I think that's people who don't understand mental health and go, it's not somebody being selfish. You don't, they don't, you don't know what pain they're in. Right. You know I, mean? I actually used to be that person, unfortunately. And go, mm-hmm. How could you do that to your wife? It, but it, it's beyond that. It's yeah, more it than is. just, yeah. I, I used to be one of those people, but now I, I completely understand. I thought, I thought before, like, why would somebody do that? But you don't know. And, and what I've seen after like reading things and doing research, they say that people normally who commit suicide are trying to escape whatever level of pain or hurt that they have. And most of the time, as they're in the process of doing it, they regret it, but it's too late. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. yeah so I've, I've definitely been there before. Does, if you're dating someone, I know you're married right now, so think you're not married um, and you're dating somebody new or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Does a f- super high body count offend you of your partner? No. Super. So if she said I've super high, so what's triple digits it's or, or like, yeah, what's, like what is a lot now? Super, super high body count. Would it bother me? No. If, if she's like, just let you know, I'm mm. in the thousands. No. The only reason I say no is because it's the same for me. <laughs> so I can't, I can't really be like, you know. Wait a minute. So you're saying you have a high body count? I do. Uh, we, you're not gonna tell us a number, right? No. But are you gonna give us a general, or is it you don't want to you don't want out yourself like it's that? It's just out there. No, it wouldn't bother me. The only part that might be a uh, push, uh, pump the brakes, would be if we're in the same circle and my boys have oh. all hopped on that. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. That's that's different. That's, so, that's different. Okay, if it's different. Yeah. All right. Different. So, Kobe, let me ask you this question. So, you're saying it doesn't bother you, so, but would it bother you for a long term relationship? Obviously, I wouldn't want it. Mm-hmm. But if I found someone I vibed with and they had a high body count, I mean, so do I. So it's like, yeah, if they you know, matched you, that's yeah, what I'm Yeah, so it's like, if you ask me, you know, I can't, if you're oh, not judging me, I can't judge you type of thing. What makes so, you so okay. above me? I yeah, mean, yeah. if she had a, bi- a high body count and she still sucked in bed, it would be a different story. <laughs> it would be a completely, she's gotta be good in bed. completely what if she's different story. She's an incredible, story. incredible person. The bad thing you don't know, but she has a super high body count. But incredible person. You don't care. You'll, Gotta, yeah. You got to figure out the other side of it. You got to yeah. figure out the physical side, you know? Yep. I saw, I, gosh, it was a show on Netflix. It might be called The Dating Game or something or Instant Matchmaker Boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And there was a, a relationship therapist ma- matching couples. And one of the questions, uh, one of the candidates was this young, good looking guy, has a good career, stable, stable career. And he was a virgin. And he was afraid to say that he was a virgin to mm-hmm. the person because he didn't want her to tell the possible, you know, 20 yeah. candidates that were compatible with him. And she asked all the women, do you care if a guy's a virgin? They just do not care. That was they not. They didn't care. No. Wow, yeah, why awesome. would you? Like, then you could teach that person. Yeah, I was going to say, look, Kobe, you're the you're like, I, 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 <laughs> like, why, why would it you? It was the same way. I was like, why you would you teach care? somebody. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm cool about to mold you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so some people don't care of high body count oh. or versions. People just don't. That's not a thing anymore. Sex is something that everyone enjoys if you yeah. do it correctly. It's only and Americans that, that yes, tabooize it. Is that a word, tabooize? Tab- tabooize? I understood what you meant. Yeah. It is now. You know tab- it is now. It's a word. That's our new word. If you could design a reality TV show, what would it be? Have a random boomer tried incomes with a millennial. Mm, nice. And the boomer's salary goes to the millennial. Adjusted for inflation as well. So if you made 40, 40K back in the 80s, that's probably six figures now. So the millennial gets six figures and the boomer gets the, t- you know, what's the average income in America now? 20, 30, 40, 30, yeah. 30 40K? 40K. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not even take home, right? That's yeah. the whole pie. Yeah. So, so have them trade? Have them trade. And, you know, because I think boomers look down on younger yeah. folk and say, well, grind harder or work harder or it's a free country. You should leave, you know. But that's a I, really good point because they don't understand the value of what, like, how hard, how much harder you have to work now for nothing. Yeah. So that's a great, that's a great idea. Because imagine making six figures in the eighties. I mean, you could you could buy a DeLorean. You know? Oh you yeah, could, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, but now if you were to switch the role and you know switch, if you were to switch the roles, eggs cost twelve bucks for a dozen. You could pay yeah. rent for a year. Yeah, <laughs> that's right? about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, God, would you watch one. that show? Would you I watch, watch it? it. Yeah. Yeah. I totally watch it. I think mine would be to where like you're. You're able to 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 pick um, like a location. Let's say you get a team, right? So mm-hmm. this would be the show. I'll be on the show, and I'll pick two. To, I'll pick you and you. Both of you guys to come on the show with me. We would select a bank or a company or whatever that we wanted to rob, 
right? We would be able to blueprint it. Check this out. No, check this out. Check this out. It's a reality show. Yeah, it's a reality show. Taping yourself going so to jail. what you would do is you would break in and rob this place. And it would they, people would know about it, obviously. But they wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't be any kind of danger involved. Yeah, you know, but the other people wouldn't realize that, oh, shit, this isn't a robbery type oh. of thing. So you do it. You plan it out and get, like, one week. You mean, like, toy guns and yes, everything? Yes, okay, yes. okay. We set it up. Us three get a week. We blueprint the, the bank. But who knows about it? What do you mean? The bank, the people that were robbing don't know. Local so the people, authorities. The people, yeah, local authorities. Some of them come and kill us. People producing the show, and you would hire people to work in the bank that, that wouldn't know it was real. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we would bust in. So it's like we, a punk type thing. Yeah, yeah. Basically just like punk. So mm-hmm. we bust in. We have a week to blueprint this place and scope it out and all this. We bust in. <laughs> we steal money. The money you steal, you have 24 hours after you leave the bank to get away with it. Okay, if they can't, if the cops can't come in and find DNA or like they, they're supposed to act like they don't know Love who it. did it. So they had to figure out who I did follow. it. If they can't find you in 24 mm-hmm. hours, keep the money. Oh my and gosh. Are, and you, you should be able to find a way to clean that money. Yes. Between, so strip yes. clubs, casinos, yes. I watch Ozark. But, <laughs> that would be sweet. Oh God. You know what's crazy though? The people who are in the bank working all have heart attacks. Freaking because. out. Yeah. They're freaking out. But if it so, stays, you're saying actors are, are kind of the, we, we have to still steal the money yes and these aren't real bank tellers this is all cameras everywhere but they don't know what's gonna happen but we you know it's gonna look real we have to walk in rob that bitch what if they trip a silent alarm? Then, oh. then we're screwed. That's that's a, that's the part of the game show. It's like you got to really like oh. plan ahead. I actually like that. I like that. Get away with it. It's if like you making because the first half is you making your own movie, yeah. kind of mm-hmm. like a Netflix show, and then the like game Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, and then the game part is getting away, so get away staying, staying, staying out away. of the. Well, there's a new show called Traitors, um, and it's 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 in a castle where it's not like that. They're not stealing, but you have to figure out in the castle who these traitors are. So it's a new one on Netflix. That's, Isn't there a cook good. a new cooking one where they have a rat in the kitchen? There's like a what the fuck? no no. There's like ten people that go into a cooking show, mm-hmm. and one of those people, not an actual rat, but one of the people oh. in there is a rat. <laughs> what the fuck? No rat no. Is so like cooking like so let's say you're Dude, the, <laughs> how you just told that story just now though. <laughs> they have ten contestants and a rat's in there too. And I, so the, the <laughs> one contestant is a rat. Ratatouille. So like you would be in there trying to fuck everybody's day up. Oh, like no, no, no one would know up. that you're the rat. Nobody knows who's yeah, doing the mess yeah. up. So you could put salt in their yes. stuff. You could put. Oh, that's yeah. kind of fun. I want to. What shows that? I want to watch that. I don't know. So, uh, we have to look it up. Okay, so Google so it. now I'm gonna give a different show idea. Here's my show idea. My show idea is to make people trade places with races and let them live as that race for a day. I could definitely do that. Whoa. Okay, so, and I'm talking about, like, I would find a politician and make them live as a homeless person for a week or as a black person or, or an Asian person or whatever it is. And, okay. and watch that and document it and show the trading places. So kind of like Wife Swapped, but show the change. And that would be sweet. Yeah, and it's kind mm-hmm. of like Undercover Boss, too, because yeah. sometimes the, the corporations would set high standards and work things, yep. yeah. and it's just not... Uh, plausible sometimes yeah. it, it's impossible for employees to meet that high demand and then on that show they'll actually lower their because they'll realize I was yeah they're like this is too hard this is impossible and they'll change their policies yeah and so, I feel like that's yeah. the way to do it is to make people experience like like you were saying people don't know the value of the dollar certain things so it's like look at the different things that you the policies you make and now now go live it you know well I mean you look at yeah. the pandemic the pandemic switched a lot of stuff around for people and like my sister used to go into the office every day and now she works from home full time mm. It's like the pandemic has taught people like you, you yeah. don't have to come into the office pe- to do this. Shit. Right. People can change their mind pretty easily. There was a thing CNN did where they paid a bunch of money to Fox, hardcore Fox viewers, mm-hmm. and they changed their mind pretty much on every talking point. They were more uh, understandable or they were more receptive to new information rather than just one news station. Really? Yeah. And one of the big tickets, I believe, was the stolen election. They they started learning. Oh, okay, there's literally maybe only 15 phony votes in the entire U.S. And or most of like them that. Republican, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. Wild. It's so funny. Insane. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. Was that anyone's too? Uh, no, that was our first. Question. That was our first. Okay. All right. So next one. Okay. Would you rather talk like Darth Vader or Yoda for the rest of your life? Yoda. Did you guys know? Yoda is the exact same voice as Miss Piggy. His name is Frank Oz. Oh yeah. So think he about a lot of voices. Think about Yoda and think about Miss Piggy and their 
their mm-hmm. uh, their tone, their vocal tonalities, and their cadence. Miss Piggy and Yoda, think about it. That it's so funny. I know who Frank Oz is, but I did not know that he also did Yoda. Did not know that Yoda and Miss Piggy. That's crazy. It's a big difference. So I'm going who, Yoda. So you're gonna talk in, in like those phrases where it's always yeah, backwards, backwards and I don't want to do the. <laughs> that's not that's not sexy. <laughs> but you think talking Neither, and, but then you're having a conversation. Happy I am to <laughs> to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's better than. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about you, Eric? I'll, I'll go. Like I'll roll up to Eric's front door. You, you got to go with Yoda. The breathing after a while. It would, yeah. Everywhere you go, and it's it's pretty terrifying. Darth Vader's pretty yeah. scary. So, so old and wise. So so Yoda, I would go with Yoda. That would suck though. It would suck. Jesus. People would just be always like, "What the fuck is he saying?" <laughs> I'd be like, "I'll just text you." I'll Love text you. you. I do. <laughs> but everything has to be like this too. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's pretty that's good. True. That was really good. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> Rest. Uh, Return of the Jedi. So I'm asking you a question. I was like, Eric, are you my friend? F- friend, I am. That's pretty good. That's it, pretty was that good? good. Is that good that or no? That's pretty good. good. Yeah. I, I don't know that That's I can hear that all day. I've never tried. We might not be friends anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Eric. Okay. If you could share one of your memories with anyone you wanted to, and they would get to experience it just like you did, which memory would you share? Mm. So I need the who and what memory. God dang. And then a quick why of oh, okay. is the most. God dang. My boys growing up back home, two twin brothers, they were both African-American. And I would go chill with them all the time. And on Sundays, I would go to their all-black churches with them. Mm-hmm. And I would be the oh, only white guy in there. Snap. But they would treat me so well. Mm-hmm. That's that's probably experiences that I would give oh, to other people because so people on the outside looking in are like, no, I would never do that. And then you go in and it's so welcoming and loving. How and was the music? Amazing. Is it just like amazing? Uh, yeah. And there ain't no love like black people would like when they let you in. And yeah. Like it, it's like a yeah. kind of a love that it's like yeah. Yeah. I see. I see uh, the black creators on TikTok. They they always mention. Going to a black church, everyone yes. needs to experience yeah. it. Is yeah. it true? Yeah, that oh, was true. They they have cr- crazy suits fans. and fans. It's su- you know I've never been. A, no, no, you have can to you realize, confirm this? Is I it- can confirm that not yes. just they got fans, they got Everything. hats. Every hats. Um, the you women know, always have the hats. People are people are grooving and dancing, yes. and it's like and and you and it's hear hot people, in there, boy. It's hot. People <laughs> are talking back, and the service is not timed. It's you. No. It's, we're gonna go as long as we're gonna go today. There and, we go. And, I love it. And the funniest thing, it I was, saw a meme that when somebody says, and this is true, if they say take your time, that means you're kind of messing up a little bit in the solo. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> if a singer is like kind of messing up, you hear somebody take from the back. Time. Go, take your time, baby. <laughs> Sing, <laughs> baby. <laughs> so it is. It, it's black churches. I can honestly say. It it feels different. It feels it different. You know what I mean. And black yeah. people are, are already kind of talk back. You know what I mean to the not in a bad way, but talk back to the pastor to the to what's going I on. I had so, way more fun there than I've ever had at a white church. Yeah, ever. So everything from the people, everything. the music, the sermon, everything. the service, and most of the time, somebody's grandmother or aunt is cooking after, and you go over to that house or go to a barbecue after. It's the best food you're ever gonna eat. Hello. Yes. Yeah, it's that's that's a good one. I get that. So you want people to experience that? Black Church, Colby. <laughs> so mine is uh, I'm gonna go with the first time I traveled to India, and it was the mm. feeling, the emotion, and what it felt like. It was like I I learned that day that I feel like every person needs to travel. My eyes opened up to like humanity to different things from that one trip that I've felt like I really wish people could experience this because it's it's not the richest place that I've been um and it's it's the the culture was beautiful and and I was in poor parts but it was such a lesson that I felt like so many people need to experience this you know what I mean because it'll make you it makes gives you more fabric as a person and I wish people could experience not just going to like Hawaii and other countries that are like super rich but other places that don't have all the money but have humanity and like the human spirit because the human spirit there is strong I remember walking outside and seeing people with no shoes and selling beans on like a little blanket but so joyful and happy mm. and that was like such a lesson so i want somebody to experience that yeah Bolly- that you, well. yeah you could tell too bollywood music and dance is super happy and yeah. super yeah. smiley yeah yeah i they could love life so it must come from yeah the culture and even the you know because it's a class system so even people that are poor 
they are still filled with so much joy that it makes you go, God, we're so lucky to be in America and have certain things that we have. And so, yeah, I want everybody to experience that. My wife was a dancer at an Indian wedding, and she said it was pretty, pretty much one of the best nights of her life, hands yeah. down. Tons of people. And tons of hundred, maybe two hundred people. Mm, yeah, it's pretty big for a wedding. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, they their usually weddings are beautiful. And they usually throw it at their house or something. So mm-hmm. it was very, very intimate and close and food and That's awesome. dance. She said yeah. they danced till the police came. I mean, two, three, <laughs> m. yeah, all night. She said they danced all night. The police come and join in. I would say very similar to travel. I mean, the first time we went to Japan, that was pretty eye opening again mm-hmm. because it's very it it. They are so ahead in many ways. Yeah. And Colby just went there actually with us a, a few months back to Japan. She was um, incredible. The culture. Uh, it's incredible. I would say not only are they uh, almost everyone, I would say uh, I would say 100% of them are extremely polite. Mm-hmm. Polite. Man, polite. Yeah. Kind. But kind. But um, respectful. How? How? The c- consideration of others, I guess. Mm-hmm. Tiny, tiny things. I know um, just one example, just one example. If you're at JFK or LAX and you're picking up your bag from the carousel when you get off the plane, mm-hmm. notice how Americans, we crowd around the belt and you can't even get in to get your bag. You're kind yeah. of um, pushing people out of the way. It's kind of rude to stand right there and your bag's not coming for like 30 minutes, dude. Yeah. Like back up. But in Japan, they stand six feet back. So when you see your bag, you walk up, you take it. There's no one yeah. within two, three, four feet of your bag because they just... You know, Cur- they're courteous. That's courteous, the word. courteous. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, one of, and one of our taxi drivers. Remember, he missed the hotel, and you guys went up. Uh, you guys took a taxi to the top of the hotel. Oh yeah, remember that? And then it took us like on thirty it, minutes you know, to get home. And he saw you guys were not from Japan, so yeah. he, I believe, did. Did he charge you for that ride? Nope. And he took you to. Remember, he didn't. He didn't charge us. He left. I think. I don't think it was up to him though, because because we yeah. didn't have any. Oh, that's true. It, we didn't have the forms, but to he like... would have done. It, it, no, he because he was just like go. You know yeah. what I mean? But it, it's again, I think that Don't... culture does that in general. Yeah, Japan is on the another culture. level. Remember, they messed up my McDonald's, and then the thing, the sign said, "If we don't give you your McDonald's by the time you pay, then it's free." And so the first time we were there, I got it, and they missed something from our bag. French fries. The thing was French fries, yeah. and we left. We're walking down the street, and all of a sudden we hear, "Excuse me," turn around, and the woman brought me back my money. Like chased me down the street, brought me back my money, and I'm like, no. Yeah, it's different. And then she it's bowed, different. You know? Customer service out there in general. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful it out there. there. We could take a lot. We could learn a lot from Japan. And oh, their technology and everything they do is just lot. better. Yeah, video game cleaner everything. too. Cleaner. Their clothes, mm. the food. Oh my gosh, Japan. Go That's to Japan. Great. Go to Japan. Which orange came first, the fruit or the color? What? Oh. Kind of sim- similar to chicken or the egg, but mm-hmm. did the, did the, color or, did the orange fruit come from the color? Originate color? first, Wait, or did the orange so the fruit originate? Fruit came first, probably before any language yeah, was fruit, ever spoken. Because fruit came out of a tree. That would be my educated guess. So somebody showed, you're saying somebody named it orange after? I get what you mean. Like meaning, uh, did the fruit come out and that's how we got the color orange? Or did we invent the color orange and then we Oh no, the, the fruit, fruit came out first. Yeah, fruit. An orange. yeah, fruit. or dinosaurs walking around eating oranges, but not s- speaking <laughs> like, English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it true that no one knows how the name Earth was given to our planet? Have you heard that? Earth. Yeah, I don't know where Earth. Yeah, came I don't from. know. We need to we need to Google that. Was that where the name came from? Mayans or do you know where Earth Anunnaki? came from? The, the yeah the word the word the name Earth. Might have been I the Anunnaki. Know, I wonder. It might have been the Anunnaki. Okay, because it because it it's similar to the brain is the only organ that named itself, right? Because it's your brain and brains That's form question, the language you speak. So Earth, can you Google that or no? What is what does Earth mean? Or yeah, where does it, it come from? It, what does it mean? Where, what's the origin? <laughs> A few minutes later. Okay, Google search who named Earth. It says all of the planets. All of the planets except Earth were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. So right. still kind of not really an answer, right? Yeah. All of the planets except for Earth were named after Greek and Roman gods. So who named Earth? <laughs> uh, what is Earth's real name? It is a common misconception that Terra is the internationally Terra. recognized scientific name of the planet. But in reality, Earth does not 
have an official international name. So I, that's kind of right. No one. Do we just like the ball that nobody? <laughs> yeah. If you look up Earth definition, it says the planet on which we live. Guys, who named this planet that we live on Earth? Somebody tell us. We, we can't find it on Google. Help us. The name Earth is an English slash German name, which simply means the ground. Mm. And that the, the Earth was named at least a thousand years old. Would you rather never have sex again? Even self-relations. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or... Every time you do something sexual, there are 15 tarantulas in your room. Oh my God. Every That's time. That's my biggest fear. <laughs> you hate spiders. But they're in your room. They could be crawling on your bed, on your ceiling. No, they're in your room. God. You, every time. My wife would kill me. Do I have to be having sex in the room? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's the room you're in. Every time you start to, they, they materialize. They come up. Oh, Jesus. Or you never have sex again. I'm going with the spiders. Easily, really? Yeah, cause I'm I'm just gonna get like tarantula traps all around my room, bro. I'm so serious. Flop every bird. time. I can't. Every time. Every I time. can't. I'm the biggest. You're never uh, gonna uh, fuck again. Uh, arachna. Oh, dude, I can't. You can't even bust him up by yourself. Spiders is his thing. No, you can't bust ever either. again. Oh, God. Can't even touch yourself. It just means it's gonna be. On, it brother. just means it's gonna be in the room. It could be on every the floor. time. You can kill. every time. Hire me. I'll call the moment every time you fuck. Look, every, while, while I'm having sex, I'm like, I'm like, do your thing. And as soon as you're done, I'll come. And you just swat them yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just it's every time. I fucking hate tarantulas. Like, I hate scorpions, anything arachnid. Yeah, I don't know anybody. This is the reason why I asked is to see what you would say. But. So it means the moment you're like. Yeah. I also. Don't you want to have another kid? But I also <laughs> don't want to give up sex. Don't you want to have another kid? You gotta. You gotta fuck. I would get through it. I'd figure it out. I would just. I, it would be scary. Could you call a Terminator to come over every time you fuck? A Terminator? 100 bucks every Wait a visit? minute, you're going to call Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. A Terminator? Did you hear yourself? I heard myself. <laughs> you knew what I meant. you <laughs> <laughs> bring Arnold Schwarzenegger to come and kill Call a Terminator. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> got oh, An exterminator. Geez. Exterminator. Every time you fuck. No. I you mean, can't? But even if you do, they're not going to, like an exterminator can't come in in like. While you're fucking at it can? Yeah, but that's not going to get rid of them. It's gonna kill him for the moment. You know what I mean? But still, that's still somebody coming in the room while you're doing it. But also, do you, are you <laughs> Eric wants to do spiders not bother you? That's just the, I mean, they that's do, another Tuesday for like, you, right? No, spiders freak me out. I hate not like, as much as snakes. I can do spiders. I can't do snakes. I could do snakes. I, I, can I cannot. Snakes. I cannot do spiders. Hell no. I could do More spiders. Than the snakes. I can't do. I can't do. Snakes. I never showed y'all that bite where I got bit by that brown recluse. You did show me. You did show me. Yeah. yeah. Terrifying. Arm, arm, yeah, that for me, like I, I see spiders freak me out. They really do. Like I would be. Fr yeah, you don't. Out. You don't want to pet tarantula. I can't I mean, do a snake. But snakes. If a snake snapped at me and bit me in the neck, I would yeah, probably panic too. from just the thought of me it. Me too, because it's like they left. <laughs> yeah, on. bro. Just... <laughs> This girl in my think office, um, she has pet snakes and she has bugs and tarantulas. She's like, oh, you can't I just my can't, house. I, I can't, I just can't do spiders. I can't and find it's myself. 15 tarantulas. So I told like, you about that time I was doing insulation underneath that house when we used to flip houses. I was in a crawl space, so the crawl space is only like this big, so you mm -hmm. can really only lay flat, either on your nope. stomach or on your back. Nope. I'm on my back, and I'm in the deep corner of the house, putting in insulation underneath the floor joists, and I look back to the foundation of the house, because it's concrete foundation, and right on top of the foundation is a huge-ass black snake, and I couldn't move, bro, so I'm like, I, oh. I slowly creeped out that bitch like this, Did, oh my God. and then just... To the fucking room, and I was like, I'm not going back. Yeah, anywhere. I would never. I'm not going back. Go back. Did you did you hear him or see him first? I saw him first. Was but it, it was like, you? so you know, like under the house, under your houses, you have joy, like, uh, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, it's like a cross, runs, like, yeah, a cross like a cross beam, beam space, foundation, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Your, wall, your, your floor beams run like this, so you're mm. going to each one. And I was on this one here, and the snake was on this one here. Oh no! Oop. Up behind me, I'm, I'm done. on my back, and I saw it. And I Which like, way to go out? But you have to go back. It stayed, by it? but I had to go this way and then go that way down to the end of the house and get out. Nope. Oh no! I, nope. And I was like, I'm not going back. I'm under not there. scared. I, I couldn't do that. Fuck and the other shit. thing is, I want to go. That's the one you saw. Yeah, but like, the the whole time we were under there, I was like, dude, if I see a snake, if I see a snake, I'm out. Oh, I forgot. Because so, so, under your house, so, like, okay, go, so bro. So your answer was you could do it. You would choose spiders, spiders yeah. not giving up sex. Yeah. Your answer? I'll still get laid. Really? I would somehow have to 
hypnotize my own self to not be afraid of spiders anymore. You or you just you do it fast, right? <laughs> do it. Well, do it fast. They still come out, right? So yeah. either way, but they go away as soon as you're done. Oh, as soon as you're done, they go away. They go away. Oh, then yeah, definitely the spiders. <laughs> what, what would you do? Just do it quick. Yeah. Terminator's out of Sorry, the job. Let's go. <laughs> I, I, I would I would do I think every man's gonna be like I'll just take the spiders come on men tell us right now in the comments yeah. are you giving up sex or are you nah, just gonna let the 15 the spiders. spiders in the room you just asked an ar- ar- arachnophobic could I'm I like, do well I could still get laid right I know. Yeah. <laughs> you said yes I, but that's my ultimate no is could I do children. like fly paper all over the floor and walls to buy it so that so way you, like cause it's human time? yeah cause we could walk but then the spiders would kind of get stuck and be, it would no, be hard spiders, for them to move they make that sticky web that's cause true. they can move on that that's stuff true. that's true that's true anyway Dang. okay so Eric what's your last crazy question uh, last crazy question um, if you could bring back any singer from the past at, you know passed away no longer alive, dead or alive, who would it be? Musician, singer, Ooh. just mu- We're talking music only. Mine is tough. Mine's between Louis Armstrong. Okay. <laughs> so random, man. You said, what a wonderful uh, world, that, Louis. Yeah, I love the blues, bro, and the like, jazz love that, and all of that. Yeah, I would bring them back. But I, I feel like I, I could live in that era easily. The twenties, mm-hmm. that would be a sick era. Yeah. Bro. Well, you bring Tommy it. Gun, you bring a uh, Tommy gun. What? Jazz music, so, all of that. You Robin Banks. What? You bring back him though to our time. You don't go there. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, I would still bring him back. Okay. Just because of his soul, bro. Yeah, okay. he was incredible. Yeah. yeah. But right. it's so it's just it's just it's so interesting. But it's so funny because you go back to the twenties, you wouldn't have us as friends. <laughs> but I'd have Louis. He can't really hang out with you. I'm better than Louis. He can't come I'm in the same door. Which was mine is. Oh, it's I'm stuck between Whitney Houston and Prince. She died too soon, and Michael Jackson. Nah. Those are two huge, so huge ones. I'm stuck ones. between the two of them because I feel like they went too soon, good ones. and Definitely. they were such like legends. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like I don't think there's ever been anybody to kind of match her as a singer, yeah. and then match him as an all out. He was the biggest star I believe that's ever existed. Yeah, yeah. Everyone felt both of their deaths. Those those are both huge losses. I. Oh. Who would you bring back? God, I feel like though Michael Jackson, I think still people are like, dang, we lost a good one. Yeah. But Whitney, Whitney too, though. Yeah. This is too. this is hard. Definitely I'll say is. Michael, Billy chooses Whitney. I choose okay. for Billy. Billy yeah, I'll go with Whitney then. Yeah. What about you guys at home? All right, guys, we want to thank you so much for listening into the podcast today. We had fun. You guys have anything else to say? I had a blast with you guys today. Thank you. I had a great time. Yeah, me too. We love doing this. We absolutely love doing this, guys. So please comment. Tell us things you want to hear about. Uh, tell us in, in the comments what you think uh, and any kind of crazy questions that we should ask each other because we like to talk about this stuff and it's a little crazy. Eric, where can they find you? They can find me at Champagne Shoji. Yeah. Colby, where can we find they you? They can find me at Perfectly Different No I. And I'm at Billy Blanks Jr. on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We will see you next time, guys. Bye.